I don't know how many billions of people have Wi-Fi in the world. Um, <laughs> maybe it's just a billion. Maybe maybe it's a little bit more. Um, certainly, there are billions who have cell phones. And um, I don't know that uh, Wi-Fi is healthy for you, per se. There was a time in the, I think it was in the 80s, where there was a scare about power lines, where people were afraid that if you were near power lines, that the uh, sort of like electrical energy and radiation that would come off power lines would give you cancer. I think there was a, a big piece, and maybe it was the New Yorker, by a, I think it was the author was a guy named Boudreau. Uh, it subsequently was debunked. Um, but here is um, Bobby Kennedy going into uh, talking about Wi-Fi. Um, but with apparently limited expertise. And then we'll play a clip of Joe Rogan just leaping at this as if it, he was a, it's like a, a starving dog getting fed for the first time in a week. Wi-Fi radiation is, uh, does all kinds of bad things, including causing cancer. Wi-Fi All right, pause it, please. I'm so sorry, because we just have to fact check this crap in real time. Um, cell phones emit levels of non-ionizing radiation. The ionizing radiation is the more extreme kind of radiation that causes cancer. It, it emits very, very low levels of non-ionizing radiation. So let's just be clear about that before we hear, you know, the rest of this complete nonsense. Wi-Fi radiation is uh does all kinds of bad things including causing cancer wi-fi radiation causes yeah cancer. from your cell phone i mean there's cell phone tuner tumors you know that i mean i'm representing hundreds of people who have cell phone tumors behind the ear it's always on the ear that you favor with your cell phone oh um and you know we have the science so if anybody lets us in front of a jury they it will be over you know, we, so what is the, what is the number? Because a lot of people use there's a lot of people with it. They're glioblastomas. That's the kind of cancers that they get. But cancer's not the worst thing. They also, you know, it opens up. Wi-Fi rate radiation opens up your blood-brain barrier. Well. Oh, I guess this, that wasn't the clip. He does talk about cell phones. Maybe in one of the other clips I saw. This is the cell phone one. Okay. Yeah, like keep it, keep it, keep it going a little more. Okay. So what do you think Wi-Fi is doing to us since it's everywhere and since everyone's experiencing, including you? What do you think it's doing it, to us? Yeah, I think it degrades your mitochondria it, uh, and it, you know, opens your blood brain barrier. Do you, do you see anything online of how it could open up your blood brain barrier? I, I don't know about how, but I... That it does? Found, I mean, I, don't, I found an article. I was trying to find the validity of it. But it has a statement on here. Damage that. the blood For brain barrier. Radio frequency only. radiation exposure has been shown to affect the permeability of the blood brain barrier as well as altering the expression of micro RNA within the brain, which researchers state could lead to adverse effects such as neurodegenerative disease. Whoa. How come we don't know that? And there's a doctor that did a study and said that it's been expanded on researches in China, and there's a published article here, but I was looking around at the page. And it's published? They call it leaky brain. The findings were followed by suppression, misinformation, and a shutdown of government-funded yeah. research in the United yeah. States. It's the same as the same play. Oh, we gotta get rid of Wi-Fi. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck, Jamie? I wonder if they'll do that. Yeah. Hey, we I missed the part where he says, uh, I don't have the expertise. We lost part of the clip. Uh, at the end of the first one. All right. Yeah. He, he, he's asked, like, what does that mean? He goes, well, I don't have expertise in that. Yeah. I don't even know what degradation of the mitochondria means. <laughs> I learned about the mitochondria in biology in ninth grade, but. This is all just sort of like, the, the, I mean, this is the, <laughs> the idea. I mean, Google right now, Bradley, Google uh, and put it up on, 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 the, on the, the, like, like, the earth is flat. Let's see if we can find an article that says the earth is flat. Hmm. Because I am sure that there is an article out there that has been published on the web. Maybe in China, but they're suppressing it here in the United States. Um, I love that part, too. 
for soda health benefits also there's some interesting stuff to say to actually drinking uh soda can we put up can we put up uh skeptic.com the... that sounds official well, that is good, actually. oh <laughs> right but i mean that that would be good information but yeah let's see uh right but this that for, uh first one said it's not nonsense here we go oh it is not it's, yeah i mean that that's yeah. a good one never mind <laughs> I don't know if our bit's working here. <laughs> we got to find a little bit more. There has yeah. to be one. Well, uh, I mean, Google yeah. might have uh, deprioritized it because of big tech censoriousness. Yeah. But this is, I mean, this is just uh, uh, the idea that, uh, that you know, there are going to be people. And, and frankly, if people turn off their Wi-Fi and decide not to have Wi-Fi and not to go on their computers, um, I... I don't think that's a bad thing if Rogan's uh, uh, audience does that, frankly. Uh, doesn't use their cell phones and doesn't uh, get on Wi-Fi. It doesn't have the same implications as, you know, um, uh, saying that, that vaccines are going to kill you or give you, um, I don't know why they don't bring up myocarditis anymore. Mm. Uh, maybe because they it finally got through to them. Um, but... I, I mean, and I don't care if somebody goes on and says, you know, I'm running for president and uh, I happen to believe that the earth is flat. I'm not leading with that. Uh, but, um, you know, that's just one of the things that I, I believe. Um, that's OK, too, because I don't think there's a lot of people who are going to die. But when you're going to ostensibly be in charge of public health and um you're on this sort of relentless campaign to not believe any of this stuff. But but even worse, like we said yesterday, if the problem is corruption driven by a desire for profits, how can you possibly say that you're going to address this without saying we're going to remove the profit motive from this class or this sort of like sector of our society. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one thing, you know, you can regulate, uh, if you believe this, you can regulate how, you know, the safety of cars on some level, because it's a lot more measurable. But if you believe that they're secretly putting thimerosal back into the, um, uh, the vaccines and that it's secretly, um, uh, you know, uh, killing people, then, and it's because of a rapacious, pursuit of profits which i definitely believe you know exists yeah um then how do you not come out with a proposal that the u.s government is going to develop these things how do you attack a guy like hotez who is literally producing a vaccine that undercuts yeah. the for-profit making uh vaccine people because it's not actually that it's not a critique of for-profit pharma it's a critique of government dressed up as a critique of pharma like the critique of pharma is that fauci and the government made them do something nefarious that like killed people and covered it up it's not that it's that we can't actually trust any of these people so like and, and it and, and, and it's it reminds me of that um, March for Medicare for All thing where they had a speaker saying, oh, I don't know if we can trust the government to do single payer. And it's like, this is liber these are libertarians that are um, basically exploiting anti-pharma stuff. And so it, it, like, that's why, that's why Bobby Kennedy can't offer like the government because they don't trust the government. They think the government tried to poison us and cover it up. Well, it's, it's anti, it's anti-community and it's anti-public health because yeah. everything that they are speaking about here. Like, I guarantee you there will be some right wing or like anti-vax libertarian website that sells you a cell phone that doesn't give you cancer at some point, And then they can make some profit off of it. Just like Joe Rogan used to sell supplements where you can make yourself really strong um, on, by through consumption, through consuming the products that make me rich. And like, that is what every right wing critique of systemic issues boils down to. It's not a systemic issue. It's a case by case conspiracy or there's something wrong with the ceo of twitter let's put our guy in um and it's not about big tech overall it's about just not having our people in charge of this as opposed to like we need more robust public health in this country writ large um as opposed to yeah like these very small instances where people feel empowered slash paranoid um and the, the, it undercuts communal efforts for for public health 
kick uh, turbo back. I went on a date recently and was introduced to birdsaren'treal.com, which seems to be a legit conspiracy <laughs> that all birds have been replaced with government surveillance devices. That's the level of discourse happening uh, on this Wi-Fi stuff from RFK. Bradley, when did we have the big debate between me and the guy from Birds Aren't Real? There was I got May of March of last year. I got highly criticized for platforming uh, that uh, conspiracy theory at the time. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, should Mar tell you March that of 2022, uh, we had uh, Peter McIndoe, the birds aren't real uh, s proprietor. Right. Yeah. We should be clear that that um, probably probably oh. is not as uh, as sincere as you might think it is. No. And if you think know. it is, it's just the idea that we have to say that now. It's just uh, you do though. These conspiracy theory people have really ruined it. It's not even fun anymore. <laughs> 